what is intercepts form of line what is the word intercept intercept means how to find slope of the line you know difference of y coordinate by difference of x coordinate by now we have learned three forms first form point slope form line is passing through 1 comma 5 or if you know x comma y means arbitrary point on the line what is the angle between lines theta or tan theta is equal to modulus of m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 into m2 Welcome to the session dear students. In today's class we are going with more forms of straight lines. In my last class I initiated different forms of straight lines. So we studied point slope form, we studied slope intercept form, point slope form y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1, slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus c. Now we are going ahead with the third important form that is intercepts form. In today's class, we are studying intercepts form of line. What is intercepts form of line? What is the word intercept? Intercept means it is a point where line cuts axis. So, suppose now I have drawn a line. So, this line is cutting x axis. Where it cuts x axis, I call the word x intercept. What is intercept? Intercept means the point where line cuts axis. Maybe here it is cutting x axis. So, we call it as x intercept. And it is cutting y axis at b, y is called as y intercept. What is meant by intercept? The point where line cuts axis, that point we call it as intercept. Here in the diagram, I have drawn a line, and that line is cutting x axis at a, x axis at a, we call it as x intercept, and it is cutting y axis at b, we call it as y intercept. Now we will discuss intercept form of line. Means when they give x intercept and y intercept, what is the equation of line? That is what we will derive now. now Consider a line as usual in any derivation first you write the considerations consider a line which cuts x axis at a 0 Which cuts y axis at 0 b Now from the diagram you can write you can use two point form already we derived two point form y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 Or you can use slope intercept form so now Or you can use one more form that is point slope form so now let m be the slope of the line m be the slope how to find slope of line joining points how to find slope of line joining points difference of y coordinate by difference of x coordinate in my last class i taught you how to find slope so i call this as x1 y1 and i call this as x2 y2 so now we have two points what is slope y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 that is 0 minus b divided by a minus 0 so we will get slope as minus b by a. Now we got slope. What is the slope? 0 minus b divided by y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. What is slope of line joining points? y2 minus y1. Here y2 is 0, y1 is b. Divided by x2 minus x1. x2 is a and x1 is b. 0. Simplify, you will get this. Now point slope form of line. All of you know point slope form of line. By point slope form, point slope form what is the equation of line y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 this is a point slope form y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 that is y minus what is y1 y1 is b is equal to m what is m minus b by a into x minus x1 what is x1 x1 is 0 now further we will simplify this rearrange a into y minus b is equal to minus b into x further rearrange this a y minus a b is equal to minus b x so rearrange this equation bring minus b x to the side it will become b x plus a y transfer minus a b to r h s it will become a b now divide by a b on both sides divide by a b on both sides by a b by a b by a b now simplify so now here a cancels here a b cancels so you'll be left out with and here b cancels you'll have x by a plus y by b equal to rhs is 1 x by a plus y by b equal to 1 is the slope the intercepts form of line intercepts form of line is what x by a plus y by b equal to 1 memorize this 
and in your second APUC, you will have intercept form of plane. There you will get extra term Z by C. So now memorize this. What is the intercept form of line? X by A plus Y by B equal to 1. What is the intercept form of line? X by A plus Y by B equal to what? 1. So first we will find slope of the line. How to find slope of the line? You know difference of Y coordinate by difference of X coordinate. So in my last session I taught you to find slope of a line joining points we can use this formula Y2 minus Y1 by X2 minus X1. Here one of the point we call it as X1 Y1 that is A0. 0B I took it as X1 Y1 and I will take this as X2 Y2. And how to find slope? y2 minus y1 what is y2 0 what is y1 b 0 minus b divided by x2 minus x1 a minus 0 if you do you will get slope then use point slope form of line what is point slope form of line so in my last class we have learned or we have discussed this what is that what is point slope form y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so x1 y1 is this point 0 b so y minus y1 y1 is how much b is equal to m what is m minus b by a into x minus x1 is 0 rearrange this transfer a to this side it will come a into y minus b equal to minus bx multiply rearrange and divide by a b on both sides you will get x by a plus y by b equal to what 1 so x by a plus y by b equal to 1 is called as what intercept form of line by now we have learned three forms first form point slope form what is point slope form y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 Second form slope intercept form. What is slope intercept form? Y is equal to mx plus c. Third form intercept form. What is intercept form? X by a plus y by b equal to 1. These are the three different forms we have studied. Now going ahead, we will see the problems based on intercept form. Find the equation of line which cuts x intercept at 2 and y intercept at 4. So very first question. First to solve any problem, write what is given. What is given? They told there is a line which cuts x intercept at 2. x intercept means small a. Small a stands for x intercept. And y intercept at 4. Small b is y intercept. And required line because they gave intercepts. x intercept and y intercept. Both the intercepts are given. So use what form? Intercepts form. So now required equation is. Required equation is. What is the required equation? x by a plus y by b equal to 1. That is x by 2 plus y by 4 equal to 1. This is the answer. Further, if you want, you can simplify and write in general form. So, for 2 and 4, what is the LCM for 2 and 4? 4 is the LCM. Then this will become 2x. This will become y is equal to 1. Or you can say 2x plus y is equal to 4. Or 2x plus y minus 4 equal to 0. You can leave it like this or you can simplify and write in standard form. What is the intercept form of line? x by a plus y by b equal to 1. So this is the intercept form of line. When to choose this? When they give intercepts or when they give hint about intercepts, use intercept form of line. What is the intercept form of line? x by a plus y by b equal to 1. What is meant by intercept? It is a point where line cuts axis. x intercept means it is a point where line cuts x axis and y intercept means it is a point where line cuts y axis. So this is the intercept form and this is the equation. Now second question. We are done with this. Now we will go to the second one. Again they want you to find the equation of line. But they gave a hint. It cuts equal intercept. Equal intercept means it cuts equal intercept on coordinate axis. So means they have given. They have given. Cutting equal intercept means what? A value and B value both are same. X intercept is equal to Y intercept they give. Equal intercept. The word equal intercept means it cuts equal intercepts on coordinate axis that is x axis and y axis this is given so required equation what is the required equation of line so required equation of line is x by a plus y by b equal to 1 so now further you know a and b value both are same so i can write the required answer is x by a plus y by a equal to 1 if i take lcm a x plus y is equal to 1 or finally this is the answer x plus y a into 1 is a this is our answer i call it as equation 1 this is the equation of line but this is incomplete it contains unknown what is unknown a to find that unknown they gave a hint the line passes through 1 comma phi line is passing through 1 comma phi all of you know x comma y means arbitrary point on the line so now in the place of now in the place of x, y, substitute the point. If any line passes through a point, then you can put the point in the line equation. So now, 
वन मीन द लाइन पास थ्रू लाइन इज पासिंग थ्रू लाइन पास थ्रू आट वन कम फाइव मीन इन द प्लेस आफ एक्स वै कैन सब्सिट्यूट वन कम फाइव सो ना इन द प्लेस आफ एक्स वैल सब्सिट्यूट वन कम फाइव एक्स कॉर्डिनेट इज वन एंड वै कॉर्डिनेट इज फाइव वन प्लस फाइव इज ए आर सिक्स इज ए आर यू गॉट ए वैल्यू एज सिक्स कार इज इक्वेशन टू सब्सिट्यूट इक्वेशन टू इन वन दट विल बी द आंसर नो फाइनली सो सब्सिट्यूट इक्वेशन टू इन वन वॉट इज वन x plus y is equal to a in the place of a put the value of a six so you can write x plus y minus six equal to zero this is answer interesting problem they wanted to find equation of what line and they gave a hint what is the hint given it cuts equal intercepts equal intercept means what x intercept equal to y intercept here they gave a equal to b first write the required equation because they are talking about intercepts use the intercept form what is the intercept form of line x by a plus y by b equal to 1 and they gave equal intercept so in the place of a you can put b so in spite of b put a take lcm so it will become x plus y by a equal to 1 rearrange x plus y equal to a and they told it passes through a point put the point in the place of x coordinate put 1 in the place of y coordinate put 5 If any line passes through any point, you can put the point in the line equation. Then you will get the value of a, and put the value of a back in equation one. That is the final answer. What is the intercept form of line? X by a plus y by b equal to one. What is a? X intercept. It is a point where line cuts x axis. What is b? Y intercept. Means it is a point where line cuts y intercept. If they mention It cuts equal intercept means what? They give a value is equal to b value. Then in the place of b, you can put a and simplify and get the answer. These are the important concepts. Then we'll go to very important concept called angle between lines. When I take two different lines, they'll intersect. Now we have to find angle between lines. And here you can see line one, L one in the diagram is making an angle alpha one with x-axis. Line two is making an angle alpha two with x-axis. If you know angle made by the line with x-axis, you can find slope. In my very first session, I defined what is slope. What is the definition of slope? Slope means what tangent of angle made by the line with x-axis. Now I'll write m one. So slope of first line, slope of line one is m one. What is m one? Tan alpha one. And slope of second line l two is M two that is tan alpha two. So first we wrote M one and M two that is slopes of first line and second line. Now we can see a triangle. I'll name the triangle. Let us assume the line is cutting at A and line L two is cutting at B and they are intersecting at C. So now we can see a triangle. All of you know sum of the angles of a triangle is ninety degrees. And also you know exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angle. Suppose see. Angle between the lines theta, and there are two angles obtuse and acute. First, we will take theta, and if I take this part, they are vertically opposite. This is also what theta. All of you studied in geometry, vertically opposite angles are equal. So this is theta, this is theta. Theta is also one of the angle between the lines. Now, from the triangle, from triangle ACB, exterior angle is equal to. Sum of interior opposite angle. I'll take this exterior angle. What is exterior angle? Alpha two. So alpha two is equal to opposite angles. Alpha one plus theta. Do you agree? All of you know exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angle. So alpha two is exterior. Exterior is equal to sum of these two. Now for any triangle, exterior angle is always equal to sum of Interior opposite angles. We have taken that. From this, we are interested in theta. So, if I want theta, can I write this? Transfer this. Alpha two minus alpha one will get. Then apply tan on both sides. So, I'll apply tan on both sides. Tan theta is equal to. We'll have tan of alpha two minus alpha one. Now, what is in the form of tan of a minus b? So, we have compound angles. We'll be studying compound angles. In that, we'll study tan of a minus b. So tan of a minus b is tan a minus tan b divided by one plus tan a into tan b. This is a basic of trigonometry that we are using. We are using this formula tan of a minus b. Now tan of alpha two minus alpha one can be written as tan alpha two minus tan alpha one divided by one plus tan alpha two 
into tan alpha 1. I am using compound angle tan of a minus b. What is tan of a minus b? Tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a into tan b. In trigonometry, we have a derivation a proof for this. This is compound angle value. So, tan of a minus b is tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a into tan b. Instead of a and b, we have alpha and beta. Tan of alpha 2 minus alpha 1 is tan alpha 2 minus tan alpha 1 by 1 plus tan alpha 2 into tan alpha 1. Now, you know what is tan alpha 1? M1. What is tan alpha 2? M2. So, substitute it. So, therefore, tan theta is equal to tan alpha 2 means m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m1 into m2 always will measure angle in positive so we will take modulus modulus means absolute value this is the angle between lines what is the angle between lines theta or tan theta is equal to modulus of m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 into m2 memorize this formula if you want theta transfer tan to rhs here we are using tan of a minus b compound angle to derive this means if you know slopes of line you can find angle between the lines m2 means slope of second line m1 means slope of first line what is m2 slope of second line tan of angle made by the line with x axis what is m1 slope of first line that is tangent of angle made by the line with x axis from this you can transfer theta to that side to get tan theta now we have simple problems on finding slope so we have done derivation of angle between lines and finally we derive tan theta and to derive tan theta I have taken just uh, we have taken two lines and this is theta and this is x axis one line makes an angle alpha 1 one line makes an angle alpha 2 this is theta and we use exterior angle is equal to sum of interior angles then we rearrange we got theta is equal to alpha 2 minus alpha 1 then important thing is we applied tan on both sides when you apply tan on both sides, LHS is tan theta, RHS is tan of alpha 2 minus alpha 1. What is tan of alpha 2 minus alpha 1? Tan alpha 2 minus tan alpha 1 divided by 1 plus tan alpha 2 into tan alpha 1. Now, finally, we want positive angle, so we will put modulus. And you know, tan alpha 2 means what slope of second line? M2, M2 minus M1 divided by 1 plus M1 and 2. This is the value we got. So now what I expect from you is simple. So remember the angle between lines, tan theta. What is tan theta? Modulus of m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2. In your second if you see angle between tangents, the same formula because tangents are also what? Line segments. What is m1? Slope of first line. What is m2? Slope of second line. And this. Now we have to solve problem based on this. And there are two angles. See here this is theta and this is sine. So, sum of the angles is what theta plus psi is 180. So, if I want uh, psi, this is 180 minus theta. Two angles are possible. One is acute angle, the other one is obtuse angle. One angle is less than 90, one angle is more than 90. Both you can find. So, I hope all of you understood how to find tangle between the lines. And we are using compound angles. What is tan of a minus b? tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a into tan b like that what is tan of alpha 2 minus alpha 1 tan alpha 2 minus tan alpha 1 by divided by 1 plus tan alpha 2 into tan alpha 1 now we have problems based on this find the angle between lines whose slopes are this so first they have given slopes what is given slopes are given I gave m1 is 1 by 3 I gave m2 is 3 and what is the angle between the lines formula tan theta is equal to modulus of m2 minus m1 by 1 plus m2 into m1 substitute in the formula directly they give slope so 1 is 1 by 3 the other one is 3 divided by 1 plus 1 by 3 into 3 modulus so simplify this so tan theta is equal to numerator take lcm 3 1 minus 9 divided by again 3 3 cancels will get 2 modulus simplify this minus 8 by 3 into 2 2 ones are 2 4s are modulus so modulus means if it is negative make it positive absolute value will say so in functions i'll be teaching you absolute function and modulus function so tan theta we got what is tan theta 4 by 3 and theta is tan inverse of tan goes that side it become tan inverse of 4 by 3 if you get standard angle, if I get tan theta as 1, theta is 45. But this is not in the tan table. So, it's not standard value. So, using Clark's table or log book, you can find this. But if you leave it here, it is understood. What is the angle between the lines? Tan inverse 4 by 3 we got. How to find the angle between the lines? This is a formula. What is the formula? Tan theta is equal to modulus of m2 minus m1 by 1 plus m1 into m2. 
in today's class i taught you one more form of line what is that intercept form of line what is the intercept form of line x by a plus y by b equal to 1 then we have done problems then i taught a important derivation that is angle between lines we use a concept called exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angle and then we derive and we got the formula by now today's concepts have completed now let me summarize say today we have learnt intercept form of line what is intercept form of line what is intercept form of line x by a plus y by b equal to 1 this is intercept form of line what is a x intercept means it is a point where line cuts x axis and what is b it is a point where x cuts line cuts y axis this is an intercept form of line then i taught you angle between lines i taught you angle between lines what is angle between lines when they give slopes of lines you can find angle tan theta is equal to what modulus of m2 minus m1 by 1 plus m1 into m2 this is the angle between lines and to derive this we used geometry concept that is exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angle and we used trigonometry concept like tan of a minus b tan of a minus b is tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a into tan b and here we have done problems also by now you have learnt different forms how many different forms four forms you have learned the first form i taught you is point slope form what is point slope form y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 what we call this as point slope form of line the second form i taught you is slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus c so m is slope c is y intercept and the third form i taught you is two point form x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 equal to y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 and the fourth form today we studied that is intercept form x by a plus y by b equal to 1 these are the different forms of lines and memorize all the forms of lines once you are thorough with the forms of lines then you can solve the problems easily what is the first form point slope form when they give point and slope what is the equation of line y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1 second form slope intercept form when they give slope and y intercept use y is equal to mx plus c third form two point form when they give two points on the line joining you can use x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 equal to y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 and the last form we say intercept form how to find intercept form x by a plus y by b equal to 1 where a is x intercept and b is y intercept and apart from all those things we also studied angle between lines what is the angle between lines tan theta is equal to modulus of m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2 m1 is the slope of first line and m2 is the slope of second line so this is a summary of what we have discussed till now i expect students to become thorough with the definitions and equations revise this and become thorough with the definitions and equations so that we can do different level of problems i'll be waiting for you in the next session and you should be thorough with the definitions always i tell the same definitions and equations should be on your tongue tip then the whole coordinate geometry becomes easy so revise the equations and learn the terms in the equations and attend my next session thanks for attending the session thank you